Bro, that was intense. Can't believe we played all the way through lunch. Yeah, no, I haven't ran that much this last season. Yeah, same. Wait, by the way, do you know what class we have next? It's A period, so Spanish. And it started like five minutes ago, so we better hurry. All right, cool. Ron, look. Isabel looks like she's struggling with something. Maybe she's tired. <laughs> oh, I, I don't think so. No, no one saw her when they were running in for class. We gotta go help her. Are you okay? Wrong. I feel tightness in my chest and I can't breathe very well. <coughs> I can't stop coughing. <coughs> what are you doing? I was playing soccer outside and at the end I started feeling weak and tired and now I just can't stop coughing and it's getting harder and harder for me to breathe. <coughs> oh my gosh, I remember about learning about those symptoms in CRM. You have asthma? Yeah, I do, and I think I'm having an asthma attack, but my inhaler is in my locker. Don't worry, we got it. Rob, go tell that teacher over there to wait with Isabel while we get her inhaler. Isabel, you're going to be just fine. Don't panic. Just try not to panic and stay calm. I forgot to ask what locker it's in. It doesn't matter, we don't have any time. Come on, come on. Wait, is this it? Rob, that's an EpiPen. It's used to treat people who are having allergic reactions. Oh, my bad. Hey Rob, I think this is her, I think this is her locker. It has an asthma action plan taped to the front of it. We don't see Rob, the action plan has three different zones listed. One green, one yellow, and one red. Hmm. She told us she was feeling chest tightness and difficulty breathing, but she was talking, so I think she must be in the yellow zone. Great, that means we should get a rescue albuterol inhaler. Oh. Got it. We gotta go. Alright, cool. Alright, Isabel, we have your inhaler. Now we have to make sure we're following the right steps to make sure you're healthy and ready to go back just, to school. Just give it okay, to me, okay. dude. First things first, Isabel has to shake the inhaler three to four times, and then remove the cap. You're, prob you're probably wondering what this instrument is that Isabel is using to attach to the inhaler. This is called a spacer, which helps effectively deliver the medicine into her lungs. Isabel is going to take a big breath out away from her spacer, so she can take a big breath when she uses it. She will then close her lips around the spacer's mouthpiece. Isabel is now going to press down on her inhaler one time to deliver the medicine into the spacer. She then breathes in slowly and holds her breath for at least five seconds. So how can attacks like this be prevented? After from waiting first? 30 to 60 seconds, Isabel is going to then take It's a important to be aware of the common triggers that may cause you to have a future asthma attack. Take two These triggers can vary from Every environmental hours, allergens to dust mites to cigarette smoke. It's also important to regularly exercise about 30 to 60 minutes a day. Lastly, if you really want to avoid asthma attacks, spending 5 seconds a day breathing into your bronchiodilator could save you from having to hassle through the pains of an asthma attack.